are the Philadelphia Eagles in trouble? From 10 and 1 in first in the NFC to 10 and 3 and 5th in the NFC, the Eagles season has officially taken a turn. After last night's loss to the Cowboys, the Eagles need to reevaluate a lot of things, starting with their offense. We saw in the 49ers game that the Eagles weren't able to convert in the red zone twice in the first quarter, putting up 6 points instead of 14. That came crucial in the game. Taking a 14 lead at home would have been a statement in the first quarter. The Eagles defense did their job in the first quarter as they held the 49ers to zero first downs. Holding an offensive powerhouse of a team to no first downs in a quarter is incredible. The 49ers have four players that are projected to have over 1,000 plus scrimmage yards on the year. It would be the first since the 2004 Colts to do so. So the defense did its job in the first quarter. 49ers offense scored three straight unanswered touchdowns with Hurts and the Eagles offense not being able to respond and going scoreless in the second. You absolutely cannot do that if you're Jalen Hurts. You have Devonta Smith, AJ Brown, Jason Kelsey and Lane Johnson blocking for you. You have Dallas Goddard. You have to be able to put points on the board in these games, especially when you have the likes of Pro Bowler Talanoa Hufunga out for the 49ers secondary. Fast forward to last night and yet again the offense was brutal. No touchdowns from the Eagles offense and the only point scored in the first half for Philadelphia was from Jake Elliott's right leg. The Eagles defense, again, in my opinion, did their job for the most part, especially in the second half. Jalen Carter's fumble recovery for a touchdown was Philly's only touchdown of the game, and they held the Cowboys to only three field goals in the second half. No touchdowns. Also to mention, three of those four field goals were from 50 plus yards, one 59 yarder and one 60 yarder. You look at these two games and think the Eagles gave up 42, the Eagles gave up 33, and yes, in the second half of the 49ers game, the Eagles defense got toasted. There's no doubt about that. But these are two of the top three offenses in the league. The Cowboys have scored the most points in the league and the second most total touchdowns, while the 49ers have the third most points in the league and third most total touchdowns. Three total fumbles from the Eagles last night. One from Devonta Smith, one from AJ Brown, and one from Jalen Hurts. And by the way, AJ Brown, you weigh 230 pure muscle. How the heck are you getting stripped on this play? Jalen Hurts has now fumbled the ball in seven straight games. He now has eight total fumbles, losing five. 15 total turnovers from the quarterback. That is not good. Jalen Hurts has more fumbles alone than Dak Prescott has turnovers. I'm not pinpointing Jalen Hurts and saying it's his fault. He has come through with some major wins this year and has just finished their toughest stretch of the season. 49ers and Cowboys both had extra days of rest before playing the Eagles. Also, every team goes through a bad stretch. Heck, the 49ers lost three games straight earlier this season. The Chiefs have lost three of their past four games. Even the Lions, they've lost to the Bears and Packers. And if it wasn't for the Bears choking with under four minutes left up two scores, they would have been swept by Chicago and have lost three of their last four. So my point is teams go through weak points in their season. Did we see it last year from Philadelphia? Not really, but we are seeing it this year. And if I was a Philly fan, I wouldn't panic. The only reason that Dallas has the upper hand right now is because they have more divisional wins, but they've also played more divisional games than you. All they have left to play is the Commanders Week 18, while the Eagles still have to play the Giants on Christmas and in Week 18. So let's say Philadelphia and Dallas both win out. Philadelphia will take the edge because they would have have the same record in the division, both five and one, but Philadelphia would have a better conference record because Dallas lost to Arizona and Philly lost to the Jets. And if you take a look at schedules, Philly don't play a single team above 500 for the rest of the season. If you take a look at Dallas's, they got to play the Bills and Buffalo, a team that's coming off a big win in Kansas and trying to push for the playoffs. The Dolphins in Miami, a team that's trying to push for the first seed and the number one offense in the league. And then the Lions, the third seed in the NFC. Realistically, Dallas won't probably win out the rest of the season. So Philly, you may end up with a two seed, but you're still safe. Don't panic, but you got to clean up and play some better football.